Hello there, and finally we've had some rain. Oh my God, it's been chucking it down for about three days and the river coconut has had a lovely rise. Um, I've given it a day to find back down again and it's looking good today. There's a lovely flow of water and a nice strong tea coloration to the water too. So I'm gonna use a bright flashy orange fly and hopefully I'm gonna get my salmon. It's Sunday lunchtime or just before Sunday lunchtime and Basically, I'm out till I catch a fish. I'm not going home. And, I'm not going home till I catch a fish. I'm going to stay in the van and um, just fish all different sections on the river, and hopefully, 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 I can break my duck because this would be the 22nd attempt that I've had now on the river Cogit. Now, a lot of the time the conditions weren't right, and I was only fishing for practice. But really, this is the time that it's, that it's never looked better. So, wish me luck. Before I get around ready fishing though, there's a couple of um, appropriate rituals that I think might might aid me in my quest to catch a salmon. I'm going to share a wee dram of the river and I've also got this magic apple pie to contend with. So it's magic because it's made with magic apples and it looks rather tasty. So we'll, uh, we'll have that and then we'll share a little bit of that with the river as well. Maybe Carla might get a bite. No, that's nice. Cheers, Simon. To your good health. The last piece is for the river. See, here's the fly we're going for. It's a size 10 flamethrower double. I've changed fly to a brass cone head tube. It's a sort of orange alley shrimp looking type of thing. It's so red, the, the water, everything just looks fishy today. I mean, there's a bit too much colour in the water, I think. But I think by tomorrow, tomorrow when this is fined away a bit more, it's going to be perfect. So, no joy at the first location. My plan now is to come upstream a few miles, which I've done, uh, with the idea that the water might not be so coloured. It was very, very brown down where I was fishing before there. Down there, there's a lot of burns that feed into the river. So I thought I'd come above those and see if I can find some clearer water. The light isn't going to last very long here. I reckon I've got maybe it's two and a half hours, if I'm lucky. Uh, I'm taking my wading stick with me, so I'm going to have to cross the river. Uh, I'm also going to stick a jacket on because I probably will regret it if I don't. I've gone for fly based on weight more than anything else. Because I'm fishing with my 78 weight switch rod, I, uh, I struggled a, li a little bit before with some of the heavy brass tubes. Couldn't really handle it, so I've gone for this. I think it's like a monkey fly or some sort of monkey, I don't know what it is. It's a plastic tube, but it's got like a bit of a bit of a bead at the front, so hopefully it's it's not too heavy for the rod, but heavy enough to get down. As you can hear in the background, the flow is pretty fast here. I know this pool fairly well because I fished it in the night. But um, I've never fished it when it's had like a, such a fast flow. So hopefully crossing will be non-eventful.
feels like it's digging in more like it's it's getting down it's not too bad to cast but it's not exactly delicate like Good place to be fishing this. This is a good place to be fishing. Come on. Come on. Get in. Get in. Get in. It's a summon. Get in. Get in. Come on. Oh. Right, we've got to get you on the reel. Oh, I control my heart, shit, I'm real, real, do not hand line this fish. It's come right towards me. Okay, she came right in. Shit, I'm learning all the time here. I didn't wind my uh, reel evenly. Okay, come on, Salmon. It's been very obliging so far. Right, rookie mistake. I've got the leader. God, he's come right up to me, like. I don't think it knows it's hooked. I think it's probably gonna take off. There we go. Okay, I'm on the reel. Drag feels pretty good. Come on, son. Right, there's snags in front of me. But I can't really go any further forward. So, let's stop handling it. I'm just gonna have to play you gently, mate. Better get my net ready. I'll just let him sit in the current while I get my net set. I'm being so flipping cautious because it's my first one solo. And I've been training for this for flipping months. And even though I'm still encountering issues like get me the net off and stuff like that. Stuff that I thought I'd sorted out. Oh, it's going to get in there. We don't want that. No, you don't want to go in there, mate. No, you don't. Oh, so you could net you. Oh, it's a nice fish, too. If I could just get me net, I could... Come on, don't panic. Right, don't panic. Get the bloody net off its hook. Come on, Rob. That's it. Okay, I didn't like the sound of the net. Keep it away from there. Keep it away from there. Alright, there we go. The net in the water. Come on, son. We'll get this over. Come on. Come on, come on, killer. We're all right. Oh, I've only got it. I nearly got it. I've only got it. I've only gone and nearly got it. Oh. Whew. Oh. All right, let's just, we'll just chill and we'll just get you sorted. Right, right over there. Oh. Whoa. It's a hen fish, so we're going to be releasing it because it's coloured anyway. It's got some teeth. Oh man. We've got a hold of the air. 
Okay, you've got your mouth around the net. That's not ideal. That's all right. It's all right. Let's sort this out. Get them hook out. Jaws are just wrapped around the net. Keep it going the right way. Keep it going the right way. All right, all right, all right. All we need to do, oh, this is the back. Okay, just wrap around your jaw. There we go. There we go. That's it, that's it, let go, let go, let go, and we're going to be going in a second. Just wrap around your mush a little bit. Just wrap around there, right? Okay, come on. Oh, come on. Uh, there's the hook. Okay. Wow. Come on, we'll get the hook out. Okay, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get there. I'll let her rest in the water. Oh, it's a beautiful fish. I'm gonna let you rest and I'm gonna get the forceps and we'll make a nice job of getting the hook out. I'm not gonna panic. The main problem there was the net was around her jaws. But we've got that out. I can't believe I've caught it. Come on, we're gonna make a nice job of this, but oh man, it's all right. That's the best way to go, look. There we go. Okay. Where's the hook? Okay, we've got the hook. We've got the hook. Alright, we've got the hook out. I got the hook out. Come on then. You're not gonna have any problem going back, are you? Go on. Oh, you've got the thing again. Okay, come on. You know what to do in this situation. There we go. Here we go. Here we go. Go on. Go on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're not going to throw it now. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. She's taking a breath. Come on. Come on, up we go. Come on. We'll get you going. We'll get you going. Come on. Come on. Wow, what a fish. It's a sea trout, is it a sea trout? Got red spots on it. It's got a flat paddle tail, so I guess it's that means sea trout. Oh my god, it's a big Come on. Come on.
There she goes. She wanted to go downstream. Oh, Jesus, my legs are shaking. That was awesome. I'm sorry that wasn't the best of fight. I would have wanted to fight that fish harder and get it in, get it away easier. It took a long time to recover it. But she went away with strength. And we'll give her a really good rest. And fuck, what a fish. It's my first migratory fish. That was incredible. The whole net fiasco, everything. I've waited so long for these conditions and I knew this was a good pool and it was just like, that was totally textbook. Like I imagined that I was there, I, cast, I made a cast down and I was in such deep connection with, with the fly, with the water and I just willed that fish onto the hook and it was just incredible. I mean, I've never caught a sea trout before. I guess that's a sea trout. It's got a paddle tail. Um, I mean, and it's, it was chunky as well. It was like a broad, broader body than a salmon, I guess. Um, but it was a big colored fish and it was just, God knows how big it was. I don't even know. Um, I'm just, uh, it's been such a long mission. I did 21 blank days before today. So it feels pretty good. I wish I hadn't spazzed about with the net so much, but I actually had, I, I'd been, I've been in training, like commando training for this salmon carry on. Um, you know, the, the hook set, I like totally like, I've got it in my head. It's just, I let it have it, have it, have it, have it. It was just a perfect hook up. Um, but yeah, the net, I've trained getting the net off its clip. So I, I need to train harder at that. That's definitely something to work on. And then I could have, um, I could have played that in a bit faster. I could have netted that a lot earlier in, in the process. Anyway, I'm gonna keep casting. I'm fixated with this number of 22 days. That's what it's taken me to catch one of these fish. I've watched whole seasons change. I mean, honestly, I've like, I've seen the river change so much because I've just been like continuously coming back. Seen the whole thing from start to finish. Honestly, I can hang me rod up now, which is an ironic thing to say considering I'm, I'm casting away. Um, but no, if I don't catch another fish before the end of the season, I'm, I'm okay now. Like, I needed that one, I had to get that one. It just, I had to know it was possible. Salmon fishing, sea trout fishing, utter test of faith. I'm gonna give myself 12 pounds for that fish. I think, it was a, I think it was a hen sea trout, but I'll have to check, because I was in like a total state of shock. I didn't even take any pictures of it or anything. Just wanted it to survive. Well, that was a horrendous cast. I caught something behind me. Oh. Wow. Ah, oh, honestly, what a, it's such a good feeling. It's such a good feeling. It's been such a hard mission. And you know, along the way, I read the um, the news updates for the Fishing Federation, and I'm, I'm sure I said it in one of my other videos, there was two guys that bought like a permit, or one guy bought a permit, he went fishing and then caught a salmon straight away. And then he went on then, like the next day and caught another one, but he also took his friend with him who bought a permit on the same day and he caught a salmon straight away. There are people that just, you just get lucky and I just wasn't one of them. It was not first time that I'm terrible casting this because this chew's heavy. It's a model line out. I'm a little bit in shock still, actually. I can't, I can't believe it. I've actually managed to pull it off. I know some people just go fishing and catch fish all the time, but that is not my experience. Not at all. Maybe I had to have the hard way. I reckon I can get another one now, though. I own that fish. Can I have a nice fresh salmon now, please, for, for the table? I can't believe this thing could grow into that last thing.
Oh, Carla. We got one. I got one, Carla. Oh, I got one. You missed it. Oh, you missed the capture. I hung up the fishing rod pretty early tonight. Normally I would fish on in the darkness, but I didn't feel the need after finally, finally getting the monkey off my back. I um, I brought some steak. I was going to have a, like a nice steak for my dinner, but honestly, I just I don't even want to eat. I've got such a deep sense of contentment after breaking the duck. I didn't care whether it was a sea trout or a salmon. I just I just wanted to get a migratory fish. I wanted to get like a big proper fish um, out of this water. Yeah, I've had a salmon this year so far, but I wanted to get one on my own. I got the one I got. I got with a gilly up in, on the river Findlay, and I just wanted to get one on my own, netted on my own, and. Ah, oh, it was such a cool experience. Honestly, it was it was magical. Um, I'm pleased it swam away in the end. I didn't I didn't fight that fish particularly well. I mean, there was a couple of times I gave it slack because I made some some rookie mistakes, and it was just it was just the adrenaline. The adrenaline just took over and it made it like really hard to to like to think properly. But anyway, got it in the net eventually. It was a very obliging fish. So thank you. So I obviously must have made the correct sacrifices this morning when I um shared a dram with the river and uh, the magic the magic apple tart clearly must have must have helped that must have made me lucky so anyway i'm gonna uh, i'm just gonna get a great night's sleep tonight i think i think i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna sleep like somebody who's got a monkey off the back so excellent um tomorrow is monday and look at me i can fish all day tomorrow so the river was still it was a bit dark there was a bit too much color in it still today but hopefully tomorrow that will just fine down a, bit, a little bit more again and it'll, it'll be perfect. Uh, and hopefully with it being Monday there won't be so many people around. So let's see what tomorrow brings. Maybe a salmon? I mean, to be honest, if I never catch another fish till the end of the season, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to hang up my rod. That was it for me. Like that was, it's been a long road. You know, it's 22 days of fishing <laughs> to get that fish. 22 days of fishing. That's, that's a canny bit of commitment. So. So I'm a happy camper. Anyway, cheers. This is gonna taste good. Mm. It does. So last night I slept like a like a king. I slept like a dead person. It was awesome. Uh, and tonight I'm up bright and early, ish. It's like half past six. So we're gonna have a coffee and we're gonna have a look at the river. See if the colours come out of it a little bit more and then start fishing straight away. Seen a fish move? something okay. it's staying low what is this
Okay, the net was slightly less fiasco-ish. Right. Okay, come on, fishy. Let's get closer to you. I'm gonna get you out the fast water, that's the plan here. Yeah. Right. Oh, I've got to fight hard in the fast water. Oh, it's got some go like for a little fish. Come on, get out of the fast water. Alright, stop fanning around, Rob. Oh, we've got it. It's a little salmon, I think. A little goosey. Yes. All right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, it's full of beans, like. Come on. Jesus. Come on, it's okay. It's okay, we've got the hook out easy. Oh, this one's absolutely full of beans. Lovely little grills, get in. A salmon and a sea trout, one each day. If this was a pound or two bigger, I'd keep it. But you know what it is? Go on, mate, you go on. Got any beans? There he goes. There you go, little guy. Oh well, this is going well. What start of the day? Oh, a nice couple of field mushrooms here. Yeah. We'll have them. Da -da 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 -da. So I fished the bit I wanted to fish up here and had some success, as you saw. So that's put me in an excellent mood and made me ravishingly hungry. So I'm gonna have a little steak for breakfast and then I'm going and then I'm going downstream to where I intended to fish yesterday. So the water is definitely um, less dark today, so it's definitely more tea than it is coffee. And it seems pretty much perfect to be honest. So I'm looking forward to going down downstream and fishing in that water down there because there's loads of good fly water, especially with the river being up a bit. All right, so for the purposes of self-preservation here, these field mushrooms, in the UK, there's only one type of poisonous mushroom that looks like a field mushroom and that's a yellow stainer. Now, the way to identify a yellow stainer is to cut the base of the stem and it'll, it'll bruise yellow. These are field mushrooms, so they're going in the pan.
that is the way to start the day's fishing. Oh, you're gonna have to move. Move. Good girl. Well, brown. That's a savage take on this little brownie. God, the heart races even when you catch one of these. Very <clears throat> nice little fish. Deep step will. Deep step will sort you out. So I took my heavy copper tube off because it wasn't very nice to cast with and the water is a bit lower today so I've just gone with a size 10 double flamethrower again which I think is heavy enough to get down I mean I'm only I'm only knee deep here and it's not much more it's not much deeper in the middle I just feel like moving the fly a bit as well just twitching it around might be good especially in the slow water just off the run A nice brownie. Oh, a nice fish.
So that's me fished my way down to the bottom of the beat now. Um, I'm just gonna walk my way back up. It's still quite dark, the water, so I think what I'm gonna do, instead of flogging away, because I'm not getting any action, um, I think what I'll do, I'll go home and organize myself so that I, I can come back tomorrow. I did have things to do tomorrow, but I'm gonna go back and do them now. And then I'll come back tomorrow and hopefully it'll just be that shade or two lighter and um, conditions will be absolutely ideal. I've had a great two days though, so I can't exactly complain. Finally, finally broke the duck last night with that lovely fish. And then again, a little grill this morning, which fought like a little tiger shark. So, can't complain. It's been, um, it's been a long time coming. Okay, so welcome back. This is Salmon Safari day three. Now, I did go home last night because I promised myself I wouldn't go home till I caught a fish. Well, I've been out for a couple of days, and since I did catch a fish, I went home to do, to take care of a few domestic chores. Uh, but now I'm back out again. The river level today is absolutely perfect. It's the perfect colour. It's just the right, it's the right shade of weak tea. As all locals know, the, the coke it fishes well after a couple of days after a spate, so it really should be great. Now the only thing against me today is this bright sunshine, uh, which wasn't forecasted. Unfortunately, it was supposed to be overcast, um, but it's just, as you can see, blue sky and bright sun, so not perfect, but who cares? Let's go and fish anyway. So the reason I've come up here to fish first is because of this tree cover. I thought this would be a nice shady spot, it might, uh, it might negate the effect of the bright sunshine a little bit. All those days in the summer when the water was low and I was fishing away, I actually got to see a lot of the good lies. So what I'm going to do today is just cherry pick the best of them. Now the water conditions are right. If I go and cherry pick the best lies that I've seen, that definitely gives me a good chance. So I think I'm starting to get to the, the, the outer limits of the casting potential of this rod. It's a seven stroke gateway and it doesn't have the power to chuck heavier flies. Hook the fish.
and it's just hiding behind those rocks just now while I got me net out. Come on, rock. It took me ages to get onto the wheel. I'm struggling with bastard net again. Right, we've got the net out. Alright, let's see if we can get this fish landed then. So, come on son. He's just tucked himself under these. I'm totally going to have to up my net game. I need it on like a lanyard so it doesn't go away. I think this is a little grill. Ooh! Wow. Pretty fresh this one. Oh, it's strong <laughs> for a little fish. Oh, God. oh yes. Palace here. That is a beautiful little grill, and I'll tell you what it is. This one's mine. This one is absolutely mine. This one's coming home with me. So I've let the fish go that I've caught so far, but I was always going to keep one salmon, in. and this is the one. Came prepared. I've got a priest with me. Okay. Salmon, I'm very thankful. Fish. What a beauty little fish. I keep it damp with them dog leaves. Oh, perfect. So once I've tackled this massive roast pork and mustard sandwich, I'm going to go downstream and then fish the final piece of water that I'm going to do tonight. And then I'm going to have to call it a day. I would keep going like. So three fish on three days might not be um, a great return for some people, but to me, I'm, I'm over the moon. I, that's the best I can do. So <laughs> um, when I started at the beginning, I was a complete rookie at the beginning of the season. So, you know, to get some fish is brilliant. I'm completely happy with it. I would have been happy not to catch any fish. Uh, no, that's not true, actually. I really had to get one fish because otherwise I would have gone mad. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've, I've done my best. So I'm, I'm happy with what I've got and if I get another one before the end of the season, great. If not, I could I could die happy now. I've completed my objectives. I wanted a salmon off the Cogat and I got one. 
I also got a sea trout, so good news. Anyway, that's it. I'm going to bed. I've had enough. Thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you in the next video, hopefully.